Got a message from Dave Ruby asking to meet up for drinks. I haven't seen this guy. This is a guy that I used to work with for quite a while back in my old job at Hillsong. Be interesting to see him. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. You notice how when I do it, it's not racist, but if you do it and you're not Asian, you're racist. Complete double standards. Pretty fun day today. Uh, I, I killed, I completely nailed a whole bunch of work today. I was very happy that I got through this some animation, some tough animation today. I smashed it, bro, I smashed it. Got to meet up with Dave Ruby, one of my longtime friends from working back at Hillsong. Good to see you guys, good to see this guy. Woohoo! Man, we've known each other for a really long time. Great guy though, if you don't know Dave Ruby, you should know Dave Ruby, because he's a great guy. Some real interesting stuff today. Look, I'm not gonna go into the nuts and bolts of it, but I kind of went down a rabbit hole. You know, when you start watching videos on YouTube and you start going down the rabbit hole of looking for things. I'm not gonna lie, I was looking for differing opinions from the whole Trump Muslim ban hot topic that's happening today. Not gonna go into that because that is a can of worms I do not wish to open. If you wanna know my opinion, I'm not going to tell you. I went down this rabbit hole and one of the links actually linked to um, uh, Donald Trump actually meeting up with Jack Ma and Jack Ma if you don't know is the CEO of Alibaba so what is Alibaba you're probably asking well for those who don't know and there's probably a few of you who might not know is that it's a training place uh, similar to Amazon but with one small difference Amazon is a company that holds all the goods basically like it has warehouses full of stock uh, that sells to you online now that's their kind of thing but Alibaba is a similar thing except it doesn't hold any stock. In fact, it's just a facilitator uh, for the businesses that want to use the service to basically sell goods to the world. As I'm looking through the website here, basically uh, Alibaba is a Chinese e-commerce company that provides consumer to consumer, business to consumer, and business to business sales services via web portals. So essentially they're using this portal as a direct conduit for anybody who wants to get something manufactured in china which is where the big money is so if you need those usb keys with your company name on it you can get that manufactured in china if you want to get those bibs with your company name on it you can get that stuff manufactured there i mean Essentially, if you ever thought about manufacturing something and you wanted it specifically done in China, you could get it through this portal. And that's the brilliant thing about this is that it allows you to have that direct connection with those companies and be able to manufacture whatever you like without having to go through any middlemen whatsoever. So one of the more interesting things about the uh, Alibaba website is the piracy issue, which is that they're producing fake goods. Now, if you go to the English website, you won't actually be able to find any of the uh, fake goods listed. I actually had a look and the, it doesn't come up. But um, the article that I was reading is basically saying that if you look for things like New Balance shoes or Star Wars merchandise, 90% of it is completely fake. And there's no policing of it within uh, China, which is kind of interesting. So they, they're not really cracking down on those, um, those fake products. And the more interesting thing about that story is that some of the fake merchandise is actually better quality than the real merchandise, which is really interesting because you have consumers basically saying that the fake merchandise is more real than the real merchandise. I don't really know why they don't crack down on it, but they're not. So it's actually quite an interesting place because it connects such a massive manufacturing country with the rest of the world. You have a mainline conduit to get stuff made in China from your desktop which is unprecedented think about it this blows my mind that that's possible now I don't know what do you guys think would you use this website to purchase anything I just want to say this is not a plug for Alibaba I'm just really fascinated with this website I'm, I'm on a whim I just want to get 100 USB keys with my name on it or on a whim I just want to get a whole bunch of like stuff manufactured with my logo on it. and I could just go through this website and do everything just on a whim, just because I can. And it's so cheap, it's just crazy, right? Anyway guys, I'll see you guys next time.